Hello everybody, my name is Spicy and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking to you guys about how I've been able to climb so high in Live Arena and Platinum Arena and stuff with a, an account that doesn't look all that strong when you look at my player power or exactly my roster too because when you look at my roster you don't see the mythics, you don't see the crazy void legendaries besides the Norseys. Um, and that was because he was guaranteed. Uh, but besides that, there's a lot of stuff missing, but I've still been able to make the most out of it and push to the top of both places, and I'm only continuing to go further. So the first thing I want to talk about is learning your roster and knowing how to counter what's meta with what you have or even a build that will counter the meta if you don't exactly have the counter champion what i mean by that is a lot of the meta right now is going to is wukong's rotos and when i'm when i'm saying live arena it's going to be like wukong's rotos um georgid those squishy nukers um, not exactly that rotos is squishy but when hit with a double hit he is um so my counter for that has been Foley, and my Foley I've put in some absolutely insane gear, it's the build I'm most proud of for sure, uh, but he's definitely who's carried me to where I am right now, uh, and that was just, a, he was my first ever legendary, put him from a sacred about four and a half years ago, around f maybe even five years ago, um, and here he is now carrying my account, so he's in lethal, righteous, one piece, merciless, and he has a reaction, he's at 6k attack, 301 speed, 100% crit rate, 294 crit damage, he is fully booked with 4 star phantom touch, um, and then I have him going down into helm smasher. So this build catches so many people off guard, and yes, I might not have the Georgids or anything, but he will destroy the Georgids. He'll destroy the Wukongs, and once somebody's block revived, um, there's nothing they can do. You can't bring him back unless you have Lydia, and you can't take Lydia in a live arena. It simply doesn't work. So, understanding your roster, finding builds to counter the meta, um, one that I'm doing right now is actually my Quintus. So, I just recently got Quintus um, a couple weeks ago, and then I summoned him during the Champion Chase and the Armand's Fusion. Um, the build I'm going for right here is Stone Skin and Lethal, uh, due to Armand's being meta. Uh, he's at 5.6k attack, 221 speed, 100% crit rate, and 300 crit damage. Um, also with a little bit of resistance, not too much, uh, but a little bit that could help with some nukers. I don't have him booked yet, he will be soon. Uh, as, as, well, as soon as I'm able to, I have quite a few I need to book before him, uh, but this damage is a lot, and you definitely want it booked on your main nukers, and as he's going to be one of my main nukers, I'm going to make it happen. Um, on him, I'm either going to be looking at Lightning Cage, Phantom Touch, or um, Soul Reap, or possibly even Word of the Fallen, depending on how things turn out once I get him. If I did get him to 6 star, I'd be putting him in Crushing Rend. Uh, because it's basically just a, another cruel set onto whatever you have, um, which lethal plus cruel plus uh, stone skin is just crazy. Um, and then I don't yet have masteries on him because uh, I, it, the fusion really killed my account uh, when it came to resources, but I'm farming them right now, and I will be taking him down into Helm Smasher with Methodical. And then what makes this an Armand's counter is going to be this Deterrence Mastery. Uh, so his A1 is extremely strong, and what this is going to do, the 20% chance to counterattack uh, when there's a stun or a sheep out there is super big, and is going to give me the chance to drop this A1 onto Armand's or even a Wukong or something um, if they try to do that to my team, and this could end up winning me a lot of fights. Yes, it's RNG, uh, but you'd be surprised at how often it really does happen. Some people do this with Georgid. I'm going to do this with Quintus because it's my next best A1 champ, and his A2 is really insane as well. So overall, um, the build's really good, and I'm very happy with it, and the attack will be going up, uh, but this is all to say, this is how I plan on countering the current meta, um, the up-and-coming up meta, I would say. Um, yeah, guys, so from there... Uh, besides uh, just knowing your roster, knowing how to build them, understanding um, how to counter the meta with different builds, how did I do it? Uh, that's, that's what we're here to learn, 
Uh, so let's go ahead and go to my champion tags arena. And these are the champions that I've used. And these ones down here are up and coming ones that I'm going to be using soon. But if you look from, um, if you cut out these five, this is what I use to get Quintus. Um, so we have our uh, Lydia, Vergash, Xena, Duchess, Foley, um, and then the rest of them, I'm not going to list them all out. They'll just be repetitive. Uh, but the champions that really, really push me to this point, you're going to be looking at my Foley, as I mentioned. Um, obviously, Wukong, UDK, Duchess, Xena, uh, Ragash, Kaimar, Arbiter, Ankora, Narcis, Hefrak, Uko. So that's a lot of champions. And I mean, if we're looking at 18 champions, that's a lot to have built and ready for arena at all times. But you need to keep in mind at very high levels, you have to have a diverse set of champions built for it. And I'm going to go ahead and go through each of my main builds. And this will take a little bit. So if you're not interested in seeing each and every build, or if you just want to see one build, you can kind of scroll through, see who you want to see. Um, but first, we're going to start with my Diuko, uh, the person who arguably carried me the hardest uh, throughout the my entire time in live arena from day one i was using him till now i'm still using him so mighty uko in my opinion this is the perfect mighty uko build we have him in one perception set and then six piece stone skin uh, he is at 61k hp 3.6k defense 253 speed and then 670 accuracy uh, what you can do with him actually is drop him some more speed uh, so you could take him down to 230 220 even 200 and he's going to do amazing work um, what's happening with him is this uh well one he's a block damage reviver which is great so having him under six piece stone skin two turns and then if one of your people die he just bought he just revives them with block damage on um and then he has this amazing amazing uh buff strip he has a really solid a1 and decrease attack and then his passive is a massive for things like lirius or udk or any of those champions that are just putting out um, annoying buffs at the start of a round you can steal your, the udks and stuff and it's really cool and then i have him in polymorph i think it's the best one just in case somebody tries to steal some stuff off of you where stone skin wears off and then they try to debuff you um and then i have him going down into selfless defender uh, cycle of revenge eagle eye and master hexer i find that just getting as much accuracy on him as possible is just really what you want to do um, he did lose a little bit of accuracy in the recent build change i did uh, but it will work off as this new banner is pretty crazy and i'll be sending this to accuracy very soon but yeah, that is my number one build out of everything I've done. This is what has carried me the hardest. And if you guys have Uko, I strongly, strongly encourage you to change yours to a build like this. You don't need the perception. You simply need the 6P stone skin as much accuracy as possible. And as I mentioned, you can even have him slow at around 200 speed and he's still going to do his job. Um, so then the next build that has probably carried me the hardest is my Foley. Um, he, maybe he did carry me the hardest out of all of them, but I've already mentioned how hard he carried me. So just a very, very quick recap over the stats. You guys can look at it yourself. Um, pause or rewind to when I really went in depth to it. Next is going to be my Duchess. Um, so my Duchess and my Ancora, their gear has been swapped between each other um, with the changing metas. Uh, Duchess used to be in what Ancora is right now, but Duchess is now in what she's in because of Narcissus meta. Uh, well, Narcissus coming into the meta. So this is my Duchess build now, but this is what I'm using. 6-piece stone skin, 2-piece reaction. So 106k HP, 5k defense, 278 speed, and then 514 resistance. Uh, fully booked, besides some on the game. One 6 p well, 6-star uh, polymorph. And then we have her going down into Timely Intervention, Lasting Gift, Spirit Haste, and Cycle of Revenge, basically the same thing I do on any Duchess ever. Um, Duchess is Duchess, I don't really need to explain why she's carried me so hard. Um, she's amazing, and I bought her soul from 1 star all the way up to 6 star, so I didn't really get lucky and get this, I just spent the time, and Iron Twins, and you guys could do the same thing. Um, so 
off that same strand, we have White Queen and Korra. White Queen and Korra is in um, four piece stone skin and then bolster. She's at 94k HP, 4.3k defense, 251 speed. She isn't booked yet because I've just had so many champs I need to book, and the books are kind of getting drawn out between them right now uh, supreme gaelic is getting them um and so is armand's armand's and then supreme gaelic is the current order uh, she has one star life harvest and then i'm going to be taking her down into timely intervention um spirit haste and then we want the double counter attack masteries because her a1 resets cooldowns uh, of your allies skills so they are absolutely amazing and i'm really happy with the builds and they've really helped um, just with having the stone skin the bolster help my nukers live and stuff and it's really really great if you guys are able to get stone skin and bolster do it if you can't do the bolster side of things just do the stone skin and if you can't do that there's swift parry there's just really fast build you can do protection um, there's plenty of options and any of them work i just personally find that bolster and stone skin work the best so the next up is going to be Kaimar. Um, so Kaimar, not a champion that like, if you do, if you have him, you absolutely are using him. If you don't have him, you want him. He's just one of those guys, depending on where you're using him. But I personally use him a lot in Arena, and he did so much for me. One of my most used champions for sure in Arena. Um, my recap, he was uh, like my number two most used. So he's in stone skin and uh, perception. He's at 335 speed, 640 accuracy, uh, fully booked. He has soul reap right now because of some stuff in PVE, but do go polymorph on him. It's the best option. Uh, so yeah, definitely go polymorph. I just have soul reap because of some PVE stuff. And then I have him going down into eagle eye. He has double counter attack. If I could roll it back, I would definitely not go double counter attack on him. I'd be going more selfless defender plus cycle of revenge uh, because this counter attack can really screw things over because of that poison on his A1. Um, things like Marichka, you do not want that. Uh, but yeah, Kaimar absolutely amazing did so much for me up until this point and still does um with armands in the meta he's going to be stealing most of my kaimar's gear uh, going to be basically in the exact same build and we have the two stone skin pieces down here so we're going to see a very 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 similar build um he is going to be a bit faster though uh, just because i have some other pieces i can put on him uh, but yeah that's the situation with them two just kind of my thoughts with both of them so then udk i don't have the best build on him i haven't changed this build in a while but it works just fine so i haven't felt the need to change it i would get a lot more hp on him if i were you guys uh, but he's at 92k hp 5k defense 102 speed 480 resistance 212 accuracy i'd recommend getting uh, probably about 300 accuracy and if you can 600 700 resistance is really just nice that's what you'd want um because by then you're probably going to resist most armands people are building him much more fast than they are accuracy i haven't i've never bothered booking him he has three star life harvest and i still don't even have masteries on him uh, i do definitely need to pick up ball work though uh, or even unshakable uh, but that's for a later date i have too many people to mastery right now this build has worked all the way up until this point i have no i have no reason to believe it won't work higher up um, so that's my udk build another champion that did just absolutely crap tons of work for me um i would say next definitely xena xena she carried me for months uh, from the day she came out till up up until now she really just is super super strong and one of my most used nukers so she's in savage and cruel she's at almost 7k attack 227 speed 100 crit rate 284 crit damage uh, she is fully booked besides one on the a1 she has two star soul reap and then i have her going down into home smasher with retribution she used to be in a little bit better of a build but as i mentioned i had to get my fully built as well as possible for me to really counter the meta in the way i found was best so a lot of this gear that's on him used to be on xena or the gear that's on wukong uh, used to be on xena uh, but yeah, Xena really just doing so much for me, and I'm really glad that she came out. 
Um, I don't believe I went over my Wukong build. We're going to do that really quick. We started with Uko, went to some revivers, so yeah. Um, my Wukong, he is in uh, Lethal and Perception. This is the other champion that has beyond carried me. Um, definitely my most picked out of all my champions. He's been featured in 90% of fights. He's at 5.9k uh, attack, 228 speed, 100% crit rate, 318 um, crit damage. 421 accuracy uh some of the gear well actually quite a few pieces of gear that wukong had are on quintus so they're they kind of split gear and that's why my wukong's build isn't as good as it was it's still working just as well he's still completely one-shotting teams with the say two so i'm not too worried about it um, but just something that i should mention that while I was getting up to Quintus, he did have about another 600 attack and 20 crit damage. Um, just so you guys know. He's fully booked, has 4 star polymorph. If you're using Wukong, put him in polymorph, guys. It is the best option for him. Um, don't sleep on that. And then we are just dropping him down into Helm Smasher with Master Hexer. And yeah, that is his build. Very happy with him as well. Wukong, one of the strongest champs in the game, for at least for PvP, even in PvE I think he is, but some people will disagree with me on that, but that's my opinion on him, he's amazing, the build's good, and absolutely carried me. Um, and then we have two more nukers I really want to point out, we have my Hefrak, Hefrak in 4 piece stone skin, sadly don't have him in stone skin and savage right now, but even how he's built right now, he's absolutely blowing up enemy teams, and they can't do too much about it. 7.7k uh, attack, 195 speed, 290 crit damage, he is fully booked on the, on the A3 and the A2, missing two on the A1. Um, 2 star lightning cage and then i have him going down into helm smasher uh with cycle of revenge because honestly on him i'd rather him be getting some turn meter getting ready to use this a2 um than the counter attack i understand why you might not want to use this so his stones can last longer uh but usually if that's proking it's um it's a teammate dying and he's going to get some turn meter while uh while also proking his passive and then finally, out of the nukers, we have my Ragash. So Ragash is in Savage, one piece protection, and then he has a reaction piece. He's at 5.5k defense, 229 speed, 100% crit rate, 279 crit damage, and then 282 accuracy. He is fully booked besides one on the A2. Um, he has three star soul reap, and I have him going down into Helm Smasher with Retribution. And these are not the masteries I would go with. I, I slotted these a while ago, and I can't change them right now. Um, but I would definitely say you want to not get Whirlwind of Death. Um, I would say just go down, single out, and get my normal Nuker masteries. Uh, much more what Wukong has, except obviously go Deadly Precision on Ragash because he's defense-based. Um, but yeah, you want to go more the single out and to bring down um, methodical is optional depending on what you want over here, but kill streak for sure and helm smasher. Uh, but yeah, so that's my last nuker that I really really used all that much. Besides, um, uh, besides now I'm going to be using Quintus, and then there is the um did i already show narciss i don't know if i showed narciss or not uh narciss he carried me during the later half that's why i hadn't mentioned him all that much up until this point uh narciss absolutely carried me um <laughs> i've said that about a lot of champions but that's the truth guys uh i don't have the biggest roster so every champion is going to be playing an absolutely massive part in my progression and how i get to places narciss being probably the only uh, void legendary that really has a big effect on my account when it comes to PvP, and that isn't free, and he, um, he's, he's amazing. One of the most, if not the most influential champions on my account in the past few months, or at least the past, like, year or two, uh, and the fact that he's helped me break past the meta and really just do so much work.
So he's in crit damage and savage, has one piece reaction, he's at 94k HP, 244 speed, 100% crit rate, 296 crit damage. Um, he isn't fully booked yet, I do have the A2 booked, so waiting to get some more books on everybody else so then I can get back around to him. Um, I'm definitely going to be going Word of the Fallen on him as soon as I can get the soul. I've been waiting like a month now for his soul to show up in the shop, but it still hasn't. And then we're missing one mastery. Um, I would definitely go retribution on him as his A1 locks people out. So for sure go that way. Uh, I don't know how. I didn't already mention Narciss. Sorry about that, guys. Um, Narciss, I thought I had already mentioned him. Now that I thought about it, I didn't. Uh, but he kills the Taras. He kills the Harima. Um, even though Harima does kind of just ignore the fact that this exists uh, but it doesn't really matter he carried me so much he's bringing block revive block reviving those wukongs those georgids and i could not be happier with him um, and then the last champion that i've been using recently is going to be uh padrig so padrig i just have him built in some speed stuff with a reaction piece so 360 speed um with reaction and Fully booked on the A2 and the A3. I don't have Masteries on him yet. And once I do get them, I'm going to be dropping him down into Timely Intervention, Lasting Gifts, Spirit Haste, Lore of Steel, um, Rapid Response. It doesn't really matter where you start up here. Probably just go Steadfast because he doesn't need Accuracy. And then you'd be going down into Cycle of Revenge. Just build him like any other support champion. Um, he wants a turn as soon as possible. And I've been using him more than I have Arbiter because people pick Arbiter all the time and he's actually setting up any of my nukers. So if I'm using my Regash or even let's say I'm using my Kaimar or Armands, they're going to get the increased accuracy, which is crazy strong, especially when going against some people like either the Marichkas or the EDKs and stuff. Uh, but that is my final build that has really helped me get to this point. Now, this video has already been going on for a while. Um, so, I'm only going to show you guys a few more things. Uh, I'm just going to go to Arena and kind of show off like the different synergies and stuff that I've really been focused on. Um, so, let's go to this team. This is one of the main teams that I use uh, in normal Arena. But actually, if you just sub her out and either put in UDK or um, Wukong, or even Foley. This is what I use a lot in the, um, in the live arena. And really, what I do like using probably the most is something like this. So we're using Padrig with um, the Queen, King, and Foley. So you could sub her out. Duchess, Foley, UDK. Um, usually, it would be more of an Uko style thing because of the speed lead. Uh, Wukong has the speed lead. Uh, Kaimor has the speed lead. So any of these things is uh, definitely a good option. So we're just going to run this. Let's say they ban my queen and this is what I'm left with. So he got the increase accuracy. We get to go ahead and speed boost. We're going to strip everybody 100% of the time. Now we're going to block revive Ugo. And it actually block revived everybody, and now they can't do anything. Um, King goes in there and hits them. Game's over. Let's fight. Uh, it's a king and queen, so it could be a problem. Uh, but, you know, that's kind of why I built my Duchess the way I did. So let's throw her in there. Um, once they've picked king and queen, usually I go more of a speed comp, actually. So let's throw an Arbiter. Uh, Kaimar, my, um, gosh, sorry, my Wukong, and then let's say I just go with my, uh, Regash, because, yeah, there's a pretty high chance I'd go Regash here. I, I usually pick Regash into any of these super, uh, defensive things. I really like him into, uh, Taras. So, let's go ahead. I would try to just, yep. That's what I do. Try to just sheep that. And then let's see if I just get blown up. Because there's a, yep, <laughs> there's a chance I just lose uh, because Narciss is so strong. If I were to go out of my way to just try to beat this, this is a time where Uko definitely comes in here. Um, you bring in your Wukong, um, you bring in your UDK, and then a different nuker, probably just Xena. Uh, this is a chance where I'd use Xena because they pick Siffy. Uh, 
they we couldn't both have UDK though, so that's that's the, that's the difference between live and normal arena. But yeah, Uko's coming in here doing his job. You can see the stone skin working, doing some really really good stuff here. All right, let's go ahead. Block damage revives. Try to get uh, some fears out there. Set back some turn meter. Go with the A2. Ah, I'm surprised he didn't knock him out there. Ooh. Oh my gosh. We're about to lose. Not really. We should be okay. We did get block revived though. That's that's unfortunate. We we lost. Did we lose? Yeah, we might have lost again. Um, but yeah, that's Narcissus. Uh, there's no surprise there. He's extremely strong. I'm just trying to show you guys the different uh, strengths of the builds that I use. Um, yes, I don't usually fight other king and queen duos because if I do see if they take uh, king, I'll usually just go full speed and then they're forced not picking Korra. Uh, or I'll do, I just take UEK or something like that. Again, I can't quite replicate what live is like in here. I'm just trying to show you the different strengths of what you can and can't do. Uh, let's, let's go against this one and just, I would probably hit him with a speed team. There's a Wukong, so I'd take Foley and UDK, that's my first pick right there. Um, if they get first pick Wukong, I'll go Foley UDK. Um, and then usually I'll just pick up some speed champs after that, so my Padrig. And then uh, you definitely need another Nuker, so... Uh, let's hit him with the, um, let's hit him with the Xena here, because she's going to go ahead and counter the Lady Kimmy and the Duchess. Let's speed boost. Holy, hopefully just kills, yep, just killed there. We hit him with the A2, steal some turn meter. Um, Padrig, we can go ahead ally attack just because. See if we can break that stone skin. Almost, actually almost breaking it. And it's gone. And the fight's almost over. So hopefully you guys can see why I built things the different ways I did. Kind of how it's gotten me to this point. Um, those two losses, hopefully. Uh, that, that isn't showing how good the builds are. Uh, just picked a strong opponent. But yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hopefully you learned something from the video. Hopefully uh, you, you got some, maybe some questions answered as to how an account like mine can get to where it is. I know I've never done a live arena video on my account and um, it's usually just because the timing is really bad, but I do plan on doing some very soon. Now that I'm this high, I think it's when it really starts getting interesting for people. Uh, once you get to gold three, this is where players really are solid and know what they're doing. And I'm excited to be here, get some more content out for you guys, and maybe I can start doing some videos like Shinny and Drock. Um, maybe not at Drock's level, but possibly around Shinny's level, I think I might be able to get up to gold four. It's just going to take a little bit of grinding, and I hope you guys stick along for the ride. Uh, so again, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you did like this video, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. If you are interested, I do account work. That's what a lot of my content is about. You can join my Discord and ask about it there. There's the prices and things, and it's all found there. Um, if you can also just DM me about it, either or works. But yeah, thank you guys again. I'll see you on the next one. Peace out, guys.